What's up, y'all? I got this exhaust MBRP with two resonators. I'll show you guys what the inside of that one looks like. And then I think I kind of have a picture of that one. It's pretty hard to get to because that one's like straight through right there. And then it's also detachable. I can't get it off. And I want to get it off because I want to replace that with just a straight pipe. And then you obviously have the section that goes over the left rear, um, left rear, uh, lower arm. And then around where the tips go. This gasket is for a two and a half. So if you're going up to a three, you're going to want to get one that has a bigger diameter. Because right here, you can see a lot of the gas and combustion that was coming out. I'm going to have to get a bigger one so more of it can actually get through. It took six days to get this one bolt off, stripped and completely rounded. I kept using a torch on it, and eventually, at the end, I got this thing, which I think it's, yeah, this one. You're going to want to get one of these, and it worked right away compared to, like, nut splitters and everything else I was using. And then, instead of like getting OEM bolts to um, replace them, I ended up getting these. Put these on camera too, so you know which ones they are. I got that at AutoZone. I've driven with this for a few months now, and it just works a lot better. It sounds nice. I just need to gut the cat next. Everything that I did film was already, um, it was all like obviously corrupted, so I don't have much footage of taking off the OEM exhaust. You can find other videos on how to take the OEM one off, which you will have to cut it off or take off the rear suspension. It's better to just cut it off. I don't know what it's really worth, but I'm gonna put it onto the front. It's gonna go into here so I can get the front section on. And then once that front section's on, I'll be able to flip it around and get the um, rear section, the tips on and finish it all off. Definitely be a lot easier with a lift, um, but since obviously I'm on ramps doing this at uh, my house, I'm just gonna put this part attached onto there and then I have a jack and i'm gonna jack up the rear end and this piece right here there's a bracket or a little rubber piece right there that it'll slide into to hold that piece up i got the gas gun with two of the bolts on so now when i push this up i'm gonna push it obviously over those two and then kind of hand tighten them on and kind of push it, tighten them more as much as I can before I, good focus, yeah, there you go. And then um, I'll work on the rear after that. And once it goes into the bracket, that's when I'll be able to turn the car around and get the last few pieces on to complete the exhaust. It'll be a lot easier to get the exhaust on if you rotate your car. So the rear is sticking up instead of the front. Jack to get this one up and can't really see. I don't know if you guys could see, but got it into the rubber piece. So now if I take the jack, it will stay in place. So now that this is held in, obviously. I've got to push it up and tighten it inside of there. Um, so once that's tightened to the cat, then we'll finally be able to rotate it over. About this in the beginning of the video that I took off, um, not sure what it's uh, for, either support for the frame, might help with body roll potentially, not 100% sure, um, but I know for sure it does help hold the exhaust up. And there's two of them. There's this longer one, and there's more rectangle shaped one. And that is with a 15 millimeter. 
there's already a screw poking out or a bolt poking poking out that that goes on to the rest you just screw right in and that'll help support it got this brace in and you can see right here kind of i don't know if it really like does help if this were to fall like hold it up or anything i think it might just be for body roll and um support for the frame to hold on so i just need to tighten this one this one that one that one and turns out i'm missing one and i don't know where that's at so that's not going back on figure out for a while how to get it back on but um you're gonna want this how it like curves over facing upwards and then you're gonna have the rear facing the rear of the car i have the brace on so the exhaust is sitting right on it obviously it would rattle a lot but once the back section is on and um, the part where the tips go on to is in their rubber pieces to hold it up. This thing will hopefully sit higher than touching this, so I won't get much rattling whenever I drive. Backed up that piece right there. What sucks about having a focus is your exhaust is gonna go over this arm and you have all this heat shield right here blocking it from like having a lot of room. So you're gonna have to like slowly wiggle this and try and um, get it into there, but you're gonna keep hitting this heat shield and denting it up which for me, I don't have really a problem with it. If you don't want to be banging on any of this stuff, you can remove the whole rear suspension. I personally wouldn't, that's a lot of work, but I just need to get this into there and then it'll sit like that. And then you'll get the back piece off and get these um, mounts onto here and then your exhaust will, depending if you get like a center tip or side exhaust or anything. Um, after that, obviously tips on and it'll be all done. So what I'm doing is I'm feeding it through this way as much as I can. And then also rotating it this way and kind of wiggle its way in until I can get it um, over the other one which I almost forgot I still need this clamp to put on to um, so it goes on to this one so I got to take it out can't forget to put the clamp on clamp on it'll probably be harder to get it through um, I could have okay it came off yeah I'm just gonna once I get it fed through here I'll put it on once I can get it through here because it'll probably be pretty hard to feed it through here out the back and then while well, having the clamp on so I'm just gonna put the clamp on once this has gone through and then tighten that got all of this on got this clamp with this piece on I think the hardest part about this is getting these lined up correctly like these are these are straight um but these the bra the rubber things this one's slanted kind of this way and this one's really slanted the other way so it's something with this piece that's off making this off but personally for me it, it would be nice if i could actually get it to fit properly but for now it's as long as it fits, as long as it looks good, no leaks or anything, I think I'll be good. So I just need to tighten that up. Um, I've already tightened all of the uh, 13 millimeter bolts holding these up. And then I'll get these on, which these, uh, I need one of the little Allen key things or whatever they're called. 
to tighten those on onto there. Straight enough to me, maybe a little bit more to the side, but um, looks good. Once I get the um, ST valence on, definitely look better, look a little bit lower because right now the back end sticks up a lot more. So let's get a sound clip of this. I should go watch that video if you guys have a focus you should do this don't mind that i kind of poked through when i um, did that but came out pretty good gotta fix that part fits really nice around here it doesn't pop out like the other one did it does have a tiny little gap obviously i can fix this i just got a little bit of thicker fabric so it doesn't work as well but around the edges, it's pretty tucked. This piece, I will fix in the future. I don't like how it rolls over like that. I can probably find a way to straighten that out. But those doors look pretty good. Um, I'll put a top right. I'll put that um, little thing right there, the video, so you guys can go check that out. But let's see, tabs. Oh yep, temps are good, so I can get a get a few revs in now. See if I get any like pops or burbles or something. Pretty quiet, idle. Sounds good. And as you can see in the front or the first part of the video. It really like the way that that resonator is built it's it traps a lot of that sound from getting out because there's little like little pockets inside of it but if you switch it out for a different resonator or just like a straight pipe it'll be you'll get a lot more sound out and the second resonator near the back the smaller one that one I think that one's more for uh, like droning sound in the rear so that one uh, I'm not really gonna replace that one because I'd actually have to take out or I'd have to cut it weld something back on and I don't want to do that luckily the other one I can just take right off Thank you.